How's it going, everyone? So I finally completed this beast. And let me tell you, that was a lot of work. There's a lot of little bars in this thing. <laughs> a lot. I think there's 50 pieces of aluminum in this. All right, so it's finally done. It's hooked up, and we're going to do some measurements on it. So this is the positive. It comes in series. And all the way down, this is the ground. So this is the input coil or the input from the four, I'm the eight UF capacitor. And then this is a common ground and this is our extraction capacitor. So this is our series step down capacitor and this is our parallel extraction capacitor. So this part of the step down transformer and it would be wherever we decided we wanted our tap point. We would just increase these capacitors up if we wanted, you know, half the voltage uh, out of it. And then we would have, you know, we would fill this right in up to here and then we would have half. But it's really, um, uh, this capacitor is actually, the, the, this group of three capacitors here, this uh, three pairs, that is part of this capacitor and part of this capacitor. So it's actually, <laughs> it's really cool. Anyways, we'll turn it on. So um, the actual capacitance, the way it's hooked up here, taking the parallel capacitance, it's testing right now. You can see that it's 7,700 microfarads. That's this this group all together. So this is just around 4,000, just under 4,000 microfarads. And this here all together is just under 1,000 microfarads. So a four to one uh, value, ratio. So, but when it's hooked in like this, you end up getting 8,000 microfarads of working ability. And uh, the difference here is 1,000. So it's actually an eight, eight to one ratio. So when it's tied together here, it has to be tied like that. So um, now I may be able to put diodes in there. I ain't gonna play with it. Uh, we're gonna hook it up the other way now. Uh, on this capacitor, the series capacitor, and it'll test it, testing. And you can see that we've got 10,900 or 10,100, uh, pretty much, microfarads, or uh, 1,100. So around 1,000 microfarads to about 8,000 microfarads this way, but what it is is we apply 4,000 microfarads here to get the balance. Now, I haven't tried to put the voltage through it, but I will. And this is, I think, 10 or 12 volts in there and then uh, I'll go ahead and apply that and break it up through series over there and see what we end up with here and uh, there should be a ratio there or close that uh, gives us what we want but we'll find out I mean it did work this way I don't see why it wouldn't all I've done is double the capacity and hooked it up properly so uh, and so and if all the math is right and it is functioning properly then uh, there's quite a few jewel there. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. I'm going to do a couple tests next, and we'll see what it does. And then if it performs correctly, we'll move along the path. Ciao.